right, what's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode one of the Pavement Group podcast. So I am one of your hosts, Brian Hess, president and CEO of the Pavement Group. And uh, we are here to bring you guys some value. Uh, the mission of this podcast is to educate and provide value to facility and property managers uh, throughout our industry, but also to bring some value to contractors as well. So as we dig into this podcast, we're going to cover a variety of topics that will be beneficial to both sides of that equation, both the contractors and the facility managers. Uh, but first, I wanted to spend a couple of minutes just introducing the crew here to you. So first, I want to introduce to you Mr. Mike Hukeen. Mike, can you tell everybody a little bit about yourself, your position here at the Pavement Group, and your background? Uh, my name is Mike Hogeem. I live in New Richmond, Wisconsin. I'm the VP of the Midwest Market. Uh, been in the asphalt industry for probably going on eight years. Been around Brian Hess now for, gosh, I think uh, six years. I think me and you have been uh, been together uh, working on asphalt and construct or concrete maintenance. Um, uh, my my duties are managing the Midwest market and then also helping out the national side of our business with uh, uh, creating scopes and budgets and uh, doing a lot of the technical part of our, of our business. Yeah. So to add on to that, I think, you know, Mike uh, does a great job for us of, of kind of creating the pavement assessment uh, stuff that we do. The entire approach is kind of Mike's brainchild from from our standpoint. So as we dig into the content of this podcast, you guys are going to hear a lot about that. So in addition to running the Midwest market, Mike is kind of the brains behind the scenes and and sometimes out in front of all of that stuff with regard to putting together hundreds and hundreds of pavement assessments for our uh, for our portfolio type clients. So uh, appreciate it, Mike. And then we also have Mr. Todd Gorell. Welcome to the podcast, Todd. Brian, thanks for having me. This is fantastic. So tell everybody a little bit about what you do for us and your background, and this should be good. You bet. <laughs> My background. Uh, I've been in the asphalt maintenance world for about 15 years. I'm up in New England. I was a, a partner with a pretty large uh, maintenance asphalt maintenance company for about 13 years. Um, and then I've known Brian again, four or five years, we've talked about doing projects together and the timing was really right towards the end of last year. We started putting this together and we decided that we'd, uh, you know, not only that I come in and help with the national world, but that we try to expand up here into the Northeast and, uh, and it's been a blast. You know, what I, what I like the most, uh, about working with the pavement group is how far ahead you guys are with technology from anything else I've seen. Uh, I should say we are now, um, than anything else that I've seen out there. And it's, uh, it's neat, it's cool to be part of that process. And I think we can add a tremendous amount of value to uh, the folks that I've worked with in the past, and I'm sure many, many more that'll come into the fold. But yeah, it's been exciting. So just a quick recap, I run the Northeast, I'm partnering with Brian and, and with Mike on the national sales stuff and, and uh, really excited to, to see where this all goes. Yeah. And so, you know, just to touch on kind of why we got to this point of wanting to do a podcast, you know, it's, there's nobody out there that's doing it right now. I think that there's a huge need. Uh, we all felt that there was a huge need for getting this information from the people that, that have it to the people that need it. And that would be, you know, we say this in meetings all the time, but we say, you know, uh, if property and facility managers just had the the knowledge that that we have and the experience that we have by dealing with this stuff every single day, it would greatly simplify uh, what is sometimes a very complicated process for them to kind of get their arms around all of these pavement assets yeah. and all the all the stuff that they have to manage. And so uh, the purpose of this podcast is to just put out bite sized pieces of content that people can consume and uh, get out to their teams and, and really give them a look inside of what we do. And so um, I just want to touch on real quick, you know, kind of everybody's expertise here. And so, uh, Mike, can you just kind of give everybody, you know, a, a look inside of how we kind of approach pavement assessments from a high level and, and how that is applicable and beneficial to our clients and what you've seen them benefit from since we started doing these things in greater detail? Well, we started out doing these very rudimentarily, just going out, taking pictures and, and trying to give that information to our customers. And 
throughout the, the years of this process, we started to really solidify how we go out and we will take hundreds of pictures, GPS locate them, um, so then the customer has real-time data of what's going on on their, uh, on their um, property at that point in time. And then we've taken it a step further than that to try to help customers that have multiple properties, uh, large fleets of properties, and we've put together campaigns of hundreds of locations so then the customer can then be able to make decisions based on the data that the whole portfolio has so they can allocate their dollars properly instead of just throwing money where the contractor tells them they should throw money at. They now have an idea of what that whole portfolio looks like so they can you know, keep that portfolio healthy from the data that they're given by uh, these property assessments that we've created. Yeah, and I think you know one of the things that we say consistently is that we believe that property and facility managers or owners should make decisions based on facts and data. And so our mission as a team, as a company, is to provide those facts and data to customers so that it's completely transparent and they can make uh, decisions, you know, however they see fit based on their budget, their situation. And uh, we all know with what's going on in the world right now, there's a lot of fluctuation and movement in those types of things. And so uh, we want to play that role to be able to give people really good information and really good guidance on how to gather that information themselves, not just from us, but you know, how to kind of structure that and give them some, a roadmap on how to do that for themselves as well. And so uh, Todd, I want you to just touch on kind of, you know, your experience from seeing where this has come from, you know, in trying to help customers, what we call uh, now, I guess in our world, the old fashioned way, which is what we oh. used to do as well to kind of what that looks like today and kind of, how that has evolved and what you've seen different here than what you've seen in the past. Sure. Yeah. And, and again, haven't been in the industry and in, in, on the national side of things for the last decade or so um, you've seen a lot of these type of tools that have come in and gone. Uh, a lot of times you see them as more of a sales tool for the organization that's using it. Uh, what I really like about the tools that we're using and providing for our customers is they really are true assessment tools. They help you budget. They help you with long-term planning. And you can do whatever you want with them. You want to crack fill or you want to mill and pave an entire parking lot. It doesn't really matter to us. It's a different part of the company or a different bucket of what we're doing, uh, being an advisor in that, in that sense. Uh, so that's what's kind of nice as far as the actual technology itself. I mean, like Mike was talking about, and he's the guy that's built it, so he knows a lot more about the guts of it than I do. But um, the GPS piece of it, the fact that we can customize it to whatever customer really, you know, every customer sort of does their budgeting differently. They need to see different information on different properties. And the fact that we don't have to put it in a box, we show them, you know, we're working with, a, we won't use any names, but a large client right now. We went through a, a great about 90 minute seminar and a couple of properties that we had looked at for them. They gave us some feedback today and said, well, we'd like to see, you know, X, Y, and Z. And we can do it like pretty easily with that information. And then it's what they want. It's not what we're telling them they need. It's the information they want so they can make those decisions. Yeah, I think it's great, man. And, and to that point, you know, one of the things that we try to stand on very heavily at the pavement group is doing business with clients based on their terms, not ours. And, you know, that's, that's the purpose of this podcast is to, you know, bring people value and to bring it uh, in the ways that customers and, and contractors want to hear from us, whatever that is. So, as we get into these episodes and, and we're going to release one a week is the plan. And uh, as we release those, we want to hear people's feedback. So from the property and facility manager side, um, certainly submit topics to us. Uh, you can shoot those into info at the pavement uh, or any of our social channels. You can DM us there and we'll get that information. And, and on the contractor side as well, you know, some of these things that we talk about are greatly going to benefit contractors in their local markets uh, and, and maybe on the national side as well. Uh, but we want, you know, we truly want to bring value and we want to do it on the terms of the listeners, just like we do uh, on the terms of the customers that we deal with at the pavement group. So I appreciate you guys joining me here for episode one and you guys will be hearing episode two coming at you here shortly. Um, and that is going to be prioritizing your pavement budget, which is a huge topic right now as things are shifting around and moving a little bit, maybe some budgets are converting from capital over to maintenance. We're going to talk to you about how these pavement assessments kind of play an influence in that, how we make it simple uh, to do that, how you can make it simple on yourself to do that. 
uh, based on how you approach your portfolio of properties or just one individual property by itself. But prioritizing that budget is important and we'll be back with episode two here very shortly uh, with prioritizing your payment budget. So thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you guys soon.